I'm going to show you how to pick the right salmon at the grocery store, or out of the freezer section, or online, or whatever. Okay, so there's some things that you need to be paying attention to, and I'll get to them throughout this video. But we have to know one very important thing about salmon. Salmon, of course, is high in the omega-3s that are great for our brain, okay, particularly DHA. But there's one really important caveat. The DHA that is in salmon is ridiculously fragile. Okay, meaning like when it's in the perfect situation, everything is fine and that DHA is going to have an amazing result in your body. But the problem is stress from exercise, stress from your diet, stress in general, is more than likely going to trigger free radicals that are going to neutralize and basically turn that DHA into a not so good fat. So the fat from salmon normally is really good, but if it's on its own, it poses a pretty big threat in terms of just being an unhealthy fat. But salmon comes equipped with a natural antioxidant in it called astaxanthin that already protects that. I'll talk about that in a second. Hey, really quick, hit that little red subscribe button and turn on that bell icon to turn on notifications. And then also after this video, if you wanna check out ButcherBox, you can get grass-fed, grass-finished meat, you can get sockeye salmon, you can get scallops, you can get chicken, all delivered to your doorstep for less cost in the grocery store. So there's a link down below in the description. Check them out after this video. All right, so astaxanthin is some cool stuff. Here's what's interesting about it. So the reason that salmon are pink is because A, they eat a bunch of krill, and yes, you can take krill oil and get a similar effect, but not quite as well. Okay, but also because they swim upstream. So when they swim against currents, it generates this pigment for whatever reason. I'm not a biologist, I just know that it's a cool physiological fact, right? Okay, so here's the thing with astaxanthin. There is an oxygen radical absorption capacity that is 6,000 times higher than vitamin C. What that simply means is that it is 6,000 times more powerful than vitamin C in operating in the body as an antioxidant. So meaning all the free radicals that would normally come in from stress and exercise would normally turn the omega-3s sour, but astaxanthin has a significant ability to prevent that from happening. So that's why it's very important when you pick salmon that you go for the ones that are as dark pink as possible. Now, if we wanna get super nerdy, there's another thing known as electron dislocation resonance. Now, this is the ability for a free radical to neutralize uh, different things at one time. And astaxanthin has the ability to neutralize 20 free radicals at once, whereas most antioxidants can only do like two to three, sometimes even just one at a time. So because it's fat soluble and water soluble, and the point is, is the pink stuff is really, really, really powerful. So here's what you need to know when you're picking salmon. You go to the grocery store and First and foremost, you probably wanna go for sockeye salmon. Okay, it's leaner. Now, you might be thinking, okay, I want the fats from the salmon. Salmon is going to have a lot of fat in it either way. Okay, you can't avoid that, so that's a good thing. So you might as well go with the leaner kind because then you have a better ratio of omega-3s. So you don't wanna have just a high fat salmon just because it has more marbling in it. So when you look at a piece of salmon, sometimes you'll see the thick ribbons of white fat. You actually wanna go for the sockeye that is a darker red that doesn't have as thick of ribbons of fat. That means you're getting more of the antioxidants and less of the fat, so your ratio, your actual ability to utilize it is going to be better. Whereas if you went with a higher fat one, the ones that are kind of orange and almost pale looking, a lot of times the keta or even the, uh, the farm rays especially, it's like a pale orange with thick ribbons of fat. It does taste a little better because it's fattier, but then you have less astaxanthin and more fat, which means you actually have a poor ratio. I'd rather you have more astaxanthin and a little less fat and just eat a little bit more salmon. The other thing you wanna pay attention to is you wanna eat the skin. Okay, now I know you don't always want to, but the skin is what's gonna have the vitamin A and the vitamin D for you. Okay, without the skin, you still get the astaxanthin, you still get the omega-3s, but vitamin D is going to work really well with the fats that are coming in from the salmon. So you have a perfect delivery system and you have the vitamin A, which is also going to help with liver function, it's going to help with your eyes. It's awesome, you absolutely need to be getting the skin if you can. Okay, now if you can't get it, it's not the end of the world, but what do you do when you're actually choosing the salmon? How do you know which one's best? Well, obviously wild caught, but I also want to make sure that you know that it's okay to get frozen salmon. People shy away from it because they don't think it's fresh, but the reality is usually when it's frozen, it's caught and then it's immediately frozen. Okay, versus being caught, staying fresh, and oxidizing. So remember, salmon's gonna oxidize really quick. And this goes with most fishes, but the leaner white fishes, you run less risk of oxidation and them going bad because you have less in the way of the polyunsaturated fats that are super fragile. So anyway, it's simple. Wild caught, leaner, super dark red, and frozen if you want. Otherwise, just get it as fresh as possible. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel. See you in the next video.